Hello shipmates and welcome back to another breakdown. This time it's James Bond part 2. In this episode we hear a terrible attempt at a Russian accent. Right. But even if it does not, there's enough plutonium to make Chernobyl look like picnic. Bond punches the tobacco industry right in the face. Filthy habit. And James really doesn't want to pay the late fees on his rental car. Thank you, Em. We've seen enough. This is now a military operation. You saw the Gatling gun. Are your troops prepared for that kind of firepower? Weapons authorized. Prepare to fire. On my count. Five, four, three, two. Four minutes, eight seconds. White Knight, four minutes to impact. Get out of there. Those are Soviet SP-5 nuclear torpedoes. The cruise hits them. Order them to abort the missile. Abort missile. Abort missile. Ah, ah, ah. You didn't say the magic word. Ah, Please! Ah, ah. Captain, sir, missile out of range. Unable to destroy. Nice. Regard nature, the Pentagon. Will it trigger the torpedoes? It might. But even if it does not, there's enough plutonium to make sure Noble look like picnic. Bloody hell. Can't you people keep anything locked up? White Knight, come in. <coughs> Filthy habit. What is he doing? His job. Get out of it, James. Officer of the watch, maximum speed. Come left 40 degrees. Aye, sir. Revolutions 160, port 20. Are they insane? 
Sir, the Chinese pilot insists that we are only 11 miles off their coast and he will fire if we don't turn around and go to a Chinese port. Are we absolutely sure of our position? Yes, sir. An exact satellite fix. Okay, so as a navigator, this bit gets to me a little. Any good bridge team, and especially a Royal Naval bridge team, uses multiple methods of position fixing. GPS is just one, and we're always cross-referencing between them to find any errors. Radar ranges of prominent land features is one such method. The ship would be able to position fix between the mainland and the island, and the GPS spoofing would easily be identified in this case. next time the MiGs fly by. And the British will think it's a Chinese aerial torpedo. Green 3-0, torpedo, torpedo, torpedo. Green 3-0, center bearing 114. Officer of the watch, come hard right, 141. Torpedo hasn't exploded. We are captain. Full damage report. Switch. Switch to alternate supply. Three generators are down, sir. Flooding on four deck aft. So we're now down 14 degrees by the scale. Yeoman Center Admiralty have been torpedoed by Chinese MiGs sinking. This is the German Coast Guard. What are you thinking about? Give them our position. Right, abandon ship. enough. Now where do we stand? It was an unprovoked attack on a ship in international waters. We send in the fleet for recovery and prepare for full retaliation. Moderation. We investigate and stop short of sending the entire British Navy within 10 minutes of the world's largest air force. When will our ships be in position? 48 hours. Is thy bidding, my master? Send the fleet to the far side of Endor. M, you have 48 hours to investigate. Welcome, please, 
passing seatbelt. AWACS reports two waves of land-based MiG-21s inbound. The first group should be on our screens in two minutes. Can repeat, the search for a ship that's invisible, well, almost invisible to radar. I'm a flat. I don't mess with the ammo. Look at this. We got anything on the radar that looks very small. Uh, life boat, periscope, anything. No, sir. Stealth boat, so they have got man. And it seems you've outlived your contract. You see, Mr. Bond, I have a backup plan. Uh-huh. So do I. Reach the hull. They're going to see us on radar. Sir, we have a small intermittent contact on the surface plot. The bearing of 112 degrees. A very weak signal. Can't get the range exactly, but I swear it wasn't there a second ago, sir. Human, tell all ships do not fire on the Chinese for any reason whatsoever. Send the message in the clear to the Chinese fleet commander. Have sighted unknown ships. Oh, Mr. Stafford, would you please kill those bastards? Whatever the hell that thing is, sink it. Right, sir. Piwo, is that echo too weak for missile lock? Yes, sir. Right, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. My deck, he won't. T minus five minutes and counting. Uh, sir, they're making 48 knots. They'll be out of our visual range within two minutes at that speed. Keep firing, we've got to slow them down.
Bravo. Thanks, Officer, sir. watch increase max. Keep firing. All hands. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. In a matter of minutes, my plan will succeed. Shaw, sure, do you expect me to talk? I don't expect anything from you except to die and be a very cheap funeral. You're gonna die now. Ah. Stop him! He's supposed to die! Nice work, Homer! Am I proud of you? Well... When you go home tonight, there's gonna be another story on your house. Thank you. Give the people what they want! Drop it, Mr. Bond. Or I drop your friend. It's over, Stamper. Let her go. Not between you and me. <laughs> So what did you think? Thanks for watching. There may be a lot of plot holes, but it's a popcorn movie, not a documentary. But as for now, it's time to turn to Back on Deck.